And then the pass back and forth this time was just a little bit. There was a miss between. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Click was one of the very first pieces that I did that was that incorporated movement into the composition. It's for three players who stand shoulder to shoulder, and they play claves, but not in the way you would traditionally play claves. Claves are traditionally played with one resting on top, loosely on top of one cupped hand, and then playing with the other. Well, we grab them, one in each hand, so that you can play rhythms on one's own, but also each other's claves in this very fast-paced, rhythmic uh, interplay, almost game-like. You know, I really feel like any way of working in order to realize an idea is fair game. One of my favorite places to be is right here in a comfy chair. <laughs> and I'll show you how I usually write music. It's usually like this. And I just sit with the sunlight streaming in, in this really quiet space, and just go at it. I have an actually even larger body of work that's purely instrumental work, and that can range from string quartet to solo piano to duo piano to concert band to um, solo accordion. I have quite a few accordion pieces. I'm also working on an opera called Propeller. Um, last year I did the first draft of the opera. It's currently undergoing some revisions and it's just sort of general cleanup of the score. Well, I did grow up um, dancing um, when I was very young and playing the flute and playing the piano and when I got a little bit older, I did some choreography. Well, you know, I grew up with a lot of classical music and there's such a view of composers of classical music that they're sort of geniuses who are born and they sort of channel operas a whole cloth. And so I was a little bit intimidated by the thought of writing music. I somehow absorbed some kind of thought that, to, that being a composer was not something that was accessible to me. And so it wasn't until I got in and got my feet wet that, um, and then I got hooked. <laughs> Crash is my performing ensemble. It's um, four people, all percussionists. I'm thinking like a composer in the way that I might construct a composition, but what's different is that I've also added into that palette movement so that it really can't becomes a part of the musical composition. It's not something that's added on afterwards. It's not something apart from what you're hearing. It's totally integrated. There's a certain amount of playfulness in a lot of what I do. I think there's a sense of trying to get to something that just feels right. It's really almost like a filtering process where you're, you're sort of sensing what it is that feels right for this particular piece and then you're using whatever means you can to get at that. It's a certain feeling of getting to the essence of something and trying to express it. There's one piece that Crash does that's on wheeled chairs and that gives us a kind of choreography across the floor. And so in this piece, the drummers 
move from instrument to instrument, or rather they roll from instrument to instrument that are spread out around the space in a kind of um, a bigger stage choreography in addition to the choreography of the sticks. Sight of hand is for three performers, it's for body percussion, and it's based on three types of body percussion. It's based on clapping games, on hand boning, and also on baseball coaching signals that are turned into body percussion. The approach is often one of curiosity and play and let's see what we can do with these instruments or let's see what's, um, what's here that, that you wouldn't normally think of. And that really requires a frame of mind that's just willing to think outside the usual and play around and see what you might have, what you might find, um, how far you can push things, how much fun you can have with things. And, you know, all my players are just right there, willing to jump in and, and just kind of mess around and see what's possible. And I think we all find it really a lot of fun. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota. <laughs>